Hey Crossword fans, today we're going to be solving the New Yorker crossword for Monday, February 15th, 2021. All right, this puzzle is entitled A Challenging Puzzle, so we're going to have to have our lateral thinking caps on today. All right, let's get started. One across, Mary J. Blige, Empowerment Anthem, used by Kamala Harris as a campaign song in 2020. Hmm. I don't know this off the top of my head, but maybe with some crossing I'll be able to get it. Compost bin crawler? Well, that should be a worm, right? Worms help you break down some compost. Dedicated to the blank love. Song performed by the Shirelles. Mm, music crossing music. This is already feeling very challenging. Um, you know what? I actually think I know this one. Dedicated to the one I love. Yeah, I think that's right. I think this might have been in Mad Men. Maybe that's why I know what it is. Okay. Pro blank. Shared proportionately. Mm, is it pro rata? These Latin phrases. R-A-T-A. I mean, those letters look pretty good. Is this going to be Miata down here? <laughs> no. City where Kim Ng became MLB's first female GM in 2020. Oh, that's cool. I don't, I don't know if I heard about this happening. That's great. Um, but what city would this be starting with an M? A baseball city? Hmm. It's, it's not Minnesota. Um, hmm. Interesting. Maybe there's something wrong here. How some puppies are trained to walk. On, on a leash, maybe? I mean, you have to train them to walk on a leash when you take them for walks, right? That would make sense. Homecoming figure. Hmm. Like homecoming at a high school? I wonder if there's some kind of wordplay happening here. Hmm. I'm going to put in Rada. That A is looking pretty good there. Longtime host of Germany's Next Top Model. Hmm. Uh, I've never seen this. I don't know what this is, but I know Heidi Klum is a model and I think she's German. So that seems like a pretty plausible guess there. Polo or Hatcher. Well, I know there's a Terry Hatcher. She was... Um, on the old Superman TV show. Yeah, I don't know Terry Polo though. Oh, Miami, okay, there you go. Nice, so Miami has a, a woman as their GM. That's that's so cool. Okay, homecoming figure, I guess would just be returner. That's one of those clues where it's like, you just put in the most generic answer you can think of. And that's that's what they're looking for here. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I don't know this song. Harrison in Star Wars. It's going to be Han, Han Solo. Enzyme, enzyme suffix, I guess could be like A-S-E maybe, like polymerase or something like that. Is it work that? Yeah, I, I guess that sounds pretty plausible. I don't know if I've ever heard of that. Drive band? Hmm. Is this another musical? <laughs> Jeez, look at this. Two musical answers crossing another musical answer. Boy, yeah, they're really throwing the gauntlet today. Um, I mean, it, I, th I think I, I can safely put a T in here just based on the HR here. Um, I'm not sure what this is going to be, though. Joined a discussion. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of have to start fresh here. These these sections are pretty cut off from each other. There's not a lot of intersecting going on um, with the northwest and this, the southeast corners here. All right, let's start somewhere with some short answers. Part of FWIW for what it's worth. So that has to be either for or it's. Polite answer to how much money do you make? <laughs> um... Hmm, I think it's going to be, I think it's probably going to start with I, that's more likely. So this is probably going to be it's. Um, I have a feeling this is going to be 
I'm comfortable, maybe. Comfortable. That's one letter too short, I think. Mm. Or maybe I make enough. You couldn't have make in it, though, so that wouldn't work. Hmm. Most fun to read, perhaps. What would make something fun to read? I want it to be trashiest. <laughs> I doubt that's what it is, but that's kind of, that would be kind of funny. Maui acquisition, something you get in Maui. Um, all right, I'm thinking maybe like a suntan, I'm trying to think a little more laterally today. You'd hopefully get a nice tan if you're in Maui. R&B group, Blank Hill. Hey, wait a minute. Isn't this Drew Hill? Didn't we have Cisco on the Sunday New York Times puzzle yesterday? And I, and I had to look him up and he's in Drew Hill, right? Wow, look at that. That made me look like I knew something about music. Um, okay, so ID, interesting. I'd, I'd rather not say. Yeah, that would be a polite response, right? I'd rather not say. I think that's good. Oh, it still could be trashiest. It's still in the running. Served as an office goer. No, served as an office gopher. Hmm. This could be maybe ran errands. Yeah, if you're a gopher at an office, you kind of do all the menial stuff. Okay, Latin stars. I think maybe this is just asking for the Latin word for stars, which I think is Astra, like from Ad Astra, the movie that came out uh, a couple years ago. Tony winning moving out choreographer Twyla. This name is ringing a bell. Mm but I don't know if I can remember the last name. Is it like Tharp or something? Is this gonna be another R? Blunder is an R, yeah. Or um, Air is to blunder. Oh, oh my gosh. Is it gonna be trashiest? I'm just gonna put it in. That's delightful. Lower leg part is gonna be Shin, yeah. Tiger's prop. What kind of tiger are they talking about here? Like a Detroit Tiger? Like a baseball player? Hmm. Would it be a T? Like you would hit a baseball off of a T? That's, that's a little weird because, I mean, a professional baseball player is not going to use a T to hit a ball off of. Hmm. Stiffly formal. Stoic? I don't know if that has the right connotation. Small trace. Hmm. What is this? Square dance call? Is that do si do? I think, I think that's right, if I remember from my gymnasium square dancing days back in junior high. University of Georgia athletes slangily. Uh, I think they're... George is the Bulldogs, aren't they? So maybe that would be dogs like that with the W. Native of Dublin or Toledo. Toledo's in Ohio. I guess maybe there's a Dublin in Ohio too. So that would be an Ohioan. Arizona city that hosts an annual hummingbird festival. Hmm. That sounds like a fun event. Arizona. I don't know that many cities in Arizona. Hmm. Uh, beg your pardon. Maybe that's just a hem, a little clearing of your throat. Sweeping. Hmm. Maybe wide? Yeah. Casting a wide net, a sweeping net. Hmm. That, that sounds plausible. Meeting deadlines, being punctual, punctual etc. Hmm. It's like, that's like stuff you, you do to be good at your job, right? Hmm. Was it going to start with good, maybe? 
This could be Sedona. I think I've heard of Sedona, Arizona. Yeah. Uh, Join a discussion. Okay, that looks like it's going to be chimed in. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's stoic. Okay, so this could be a hint, a small trace. Uh-oh, what is this? Hmm, it does look like something's wrong. Maybe it's returnee instead of returner. Yeah, because that would let this be the, and maybe this is the cars, that would make sense, drive. Okay, and this could be stayed. So I guess it is a T, interesting. I mean, I kind of like this prop, like you're, it's literally propping up the ball for you to hit it. I mean, I suppose a tiger could maybe use a T in like batting practice or something. It's, it still seems a little bit weird to me, but I'm going to let that one slide. Blank and happiness are an impossible combination. Mark Twain. Sanity? <laughs> Not Mark Twain. He was full of good bon mots. Okay, Glastonbury grannies. I guess that's Nan's? Harkening back to the trouble I had with Nana's on the Sunday puzzle. If you have, if you saw that, I really struggled with uh, Nana being spelled with one N instead of two. Elevations abbreviated. That's just going to be heights. Okay, so maybe this is just good habits. It's good work habits. Red Sea Peninsula. Mm, is that the Sinai Peninsula? Is that right? Parcel. I think this is act asking for like a parcel of land. So that would be like tract, a tract of land. Exile, that can be banish. Economist's figure. Hmm. I don't think they're talking about an hourglass figure. Hmm. Boozer? Yeah, that could be a sot. I like that 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 word for a, a drunkard. That's just so funny. It's like you're besotted. All right. 48 blank. Nolte Murphy buddy cop flick. Yeah, that's 48 hours. Because that's another buddy cop flick they could have used for the uh, buddy cop movie theme answer in the Monday New York Times puzzle today. Um, okay, so economist figure is going to be an indicator. I don't know if you've ever listened to uh, Planet Money, the podcast from, uh, uh, I think NPR puts it out, but uh, yeah, they have a little podcast called The Indicator that just sort of talks about whatever little economic things happening that day. It's pretty good. Okay. Certain sanctuary occupant. I guess that could be a bird. There's bird sanctuaries like the Wild Bird Fund in New York City. They do really good work with wild birds. Um, okay, Lost Actor, Daniel Blank Kim. I believe this is Daniel Day Kim. I watched I watched Lost religiously when it came out and um, I kind of got jaded with it near the end. But yeah, I was really into it um, at the beginning there. Okay, Housewarming Party Locale Informally. Uh, well, you always have a housewarming party when you have a new house, right? So maybe it's new and then like a slang term for a house would be digs maybe. Yeah, I like that a lot. Okay, so here's another really th long answer. One whose jobs are up in the air. Artists, so we've got somebody that works up in the air. Probably, it's looking like trapeze artists. Is that with a Z? I think it is, right? Golf apparel brand, is that Izod? Yeah, it's kind of, kind of Hampton Z clothing brand, right? Okay, made, made promises. I guess that would be vowed, like on your wedding day. Dances around. I guess this isn't like you're literally dancing at like on a dance floor, but this is like a figuratively dancing around. So I think this is gonna be evades. You're trying to avoid talking about something or doing something. Southern University whose sports teams are called the Green Wave. Hmm. University. Starts with a T. Hmm. I think I'm going to need more help on this one. 
Persian's coat, like a Persian cat. Uh, so that would be fur. Metro card payment? Yeah, that's just gonna be a fare. If you're not in New York City, a Metro card is the um, access card you use to get on the subway in New York City. Sh Star of Shane and the Blue Dahlia. Hmm. Shane was the John Wayne movie, right? If I'm not mistaken. Hmm. I'm not sure about this one. Like bad olive oil. Uh, that's going to be rancid. Yeah, if fats go bad, they get rancid. Belgian green. Uh, huh. Is this talking about money? Wouldn't that be the euro? Do they, don't they use the euro in Belgium? Maybe it's something else. Maybe it's not talking about money. Is it an endive? Like a vegetable? That could be. Is, are they from Belgium? I didn't know they were so location specific. Is this going to be a V? SNL segment? Yeah, so a word in Saturday Night Live. So that's going to be live. Huh, maybe it is endive. Interesting. Okay. Oh, and this is Tulane. Tulane. Yeah, I have heard of this university. I wouldn't be able to tell you what state it's in, but I have heard of it. Kissing couple. <laughs> okay, so it's asking for a couple of things in the word kissing. So it looks like it could be I's or S's, but it's definitely going to be S's since it's at the uh, bottom of the grid here. Jag spinoff. Uh, yeah, this is like a military courtroom procedural show, I think. So that's going to be NCIS, another procedural cop procedural show. Alan Ladd. Okay. Yeah, I don't think I know who this actor is. I I don't recognize this name. So we're in good shape here with this down starting us off. So we have the first letter of all these crosses. That's going to help a lot. Hurt in a way. Hmm. So this is going to be s some sort of like figurative way of hurting someone probably. It, it's not just going to be injured, right? I-N-J-U-R-E-D. Yeah, no, that doesn't work collected starting with a g i guess that could maybe be gathered yeah that looks good sculpture garden display hmm is that gonna be statuary i think that might work statue airy yeah it's like a collection of statues right i love it there's a great Socrates Sculpture Park in my near my old neighborhood in a in Astoria. Okay, Jazz Cornetist Adderley. Ooh, yeah, I don't know that. Mrs. in Barcelona. That's Hmm, shouldn't that be Signora? Yeah, I think it should be. So maybe Gathered is wrong. These letters look so good though. Hmm, no, that's right. Sacre bleu. The exclamation in French. Hmm. <laughs> razor print. Our arch nemesis, the Gillette Atro Razor. I'll refrain from going on a rant on this yet again, but suffice to say I hate this answer. Forward looking person. That should be a seer. Swirling ocean motion. Yeah, that should be an eddy, right? A whirl in, in the ocean. Hmm. Blank Julia and the script writer Mario Vargas Losa novel. Hmm. I mean, maybe the first part of this is is wrong and this this part could still be right. Let's see. Shame could be a based. Yeah, if you're a based, you're shamed. Yeah, this this does kind of look like it's wrong, doesn't it? Based on on what's going on with the downs. Hurt in a way could be insulted. Yeah, that's kind of a way to figuratively hurt someone or emotionally hurt someone. So maybe this is aunt or aunt Julia. And then this could be garnered. Yeah, like usually I hear that in relation to like awards, like you garnered a lot of awards or you garnered a lot of praise. So what would that make this Nat Adderley? That's very plausible. And then this would be Signora, right? So this would be an R. Excellent. I think we're all, I think we finished. Nice. 
Look at that. Wow. Under 20 minutes for a, uh, a Monday New Yorker puzzle. That's pretty darn quick. Yeah, I feel like we sprinted through this. Um, I just felt like I was on the right wavelength for this puzzle. Yeah, I, I enjoyed solving this one a lot. I really don't see how giving you a six letter word for a 16th century crested metal helmet helps my problem. Wait a minute. We know what the answer to that is now, don't we? That's cask. C-A-S-Q-U-E. That was just on the Sunday puzzle. Well, don't we feel smart? All right, let's see. Featured answer is good habits, 12 down. Yeah, that was a nice one. All right, yeah, there's a lot to like in this puzzle. Um, this is kind of a cute, <laughs> just kind of like a cute equivalent phrase. Um, yeah, on, on a leash was kind of nice. Um, let's see, yeah, it was just like kind of a lot of nice, it wasn't a lot of like, super clever wordplay or anything but it was just like a lot of nice vocabulary like i like garnered i like statuary and dive is a fun little answer there um yeah good habits is good yeah, it's just like a lot of like solid fill like trashiest i loved um yeah yeah i just think it's just it's not not full of a lot of cruft like, I think this is the real only, like, stinker answer in the grid. I mean, even, like, NCIS isn't, like, that bad. Um, I mean, there's a little bit of small stuff here. Ace is, you know, but sometimes you just have to have three-letter words in your grid, and none of these are particularly offensive. So, yeah, overall, I thoroughly enjoyed this puzzle. This was a Elizabeth Gorski puzzle, and, um, you know, she's a freaking, you know, paragon of crossword construction so i'm not surprised that this was a delightful solve um all right well uh i think that's going to do it for today um if you're into more challenging solves um yeah the later week new york times puzzles are going to be what you're looking for so starting like you know wednesday thursday friday that's going to be um, more difficult solves and if you're looking for some um more basic solving tips you'll want to check out the early week new york times puzzles like the monday tuesday that are going to be posted today and tomorrow all right uh yeah so i hope you enjoyed solving that puzzle as much as i did and that's going to do it for now all right i'll see you next time